Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at semiconductors that is AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom and Micron. I won't be talking about Nvidia in this video. I did a video on that over the weekend. Check that out on my channel. So it's right over here guys on my channel Nvidia. I'm talking about the possibility well what Nvidia would do this coming weekend is there a retest possibility of $140 and all in all the levels to watch so here's that video and also don't forget to check out my dividend investing channel as well I have been doing videos here on my public facing portfolio how things are looking like and portfolio is looking in great green amazing profit so if you want to follow along please subscribe to this channel as well all right okay let's get back over here and let's talk about AMD. So AMD, no surprise, right? This has been going back again to the upside once we got above this particular area that I was talking about, 136 cents, 78 cents. And then definitely staying above 20 days moving average with a good candle that got bought back up is just was a continuation to the upside and we have been getting that. Our target remains 150 three area around this zone where 200 days 50 days moving average is coming but even let's say we start to do a pullback there there are some pivot opportunities that could be looked at that is either 145 or 20 days moving average eventually what i'm trying to say here is that amd might after here as well uh may just do a pullback but may not turn structure bearish right now We'll have to see the price session, how it develops, but right now I'm not seeing signs of that. And even if we, from here, let's say we have a red candle come in, let's say tomorrow or whenever, and we lose $145.30, it's not going to change the structure bearish as long as we are above $141.15 area. Now, let's go to the hourly interval as well, and let's take a look at a couple of things over there. So, so we still remain in the upward structure. We still have um, higher highs, higher lows. I'm not seeing anything that tells me that um, we are in the downward structure. Intraday cool off, can that come? Well, if we lose 20 hours moving average, intraday cool off may come to $145.29, but that's not going to change the structure bearish. It's not right uh, that's just going to be a pullback and if we just continue to break upside uh, stay above 20 hours moving average we can just continue higher right so we still have a lot of areas that we can just stay bullish on amd all right and so the levels to watch you already have it the pullback zones in this 145 to 146 intraday as we stay above it that's just a pullback zone if we lose that and then we lose 145.29 cents with 50 hours moving average. That's when and probably the problem will start to come. SMCI. So SMCI, um, we got up there underneath of that blue box that I was talking about. Once we get above this level of 546 and 74 cents, some rebound may continue. I still think SMCI is weak enough that if it can it it has likelihood of slowing down here but we have to work with the price action now so this was the rebound move the next big move i'm only comfortable trading to the upside if we can get above 662 and 200 days moving average then in my opinion we'll have a high well much more strong upside otherwise not right now we still have these pivots uh over here so just keep that in mind over here and um, right now we haven't really changed the structure um, but we may again if we start if we close strong here and then uh, things may start to continue higher but that's something we might have to wait and see how the price action reacts in this zone of the blue box for that right and taking a look at hourly interval uh, we I do see some slowdown this two sell-off candles coming in for two hours and then we have a lower high I and the, that's why the structural trading is so important it's also coming around the blue box area now so if we continue to stay below 628 going in Monday that is tomorrow 
and we stay below 20 hours moving average to keep it simple we might cool off down to level of like 603 or 50 hours moving average intraday at least that's a possibility so just just keep that in mind there there may be cool off that may happen okay in the structure but if we can stay above 20 hours moving average from here on or after finding 50 hours moving average that will again turn back again to the upside that's but what I'm trying to say is that this blue box is the zone that will decide it all now for the either continuation more to the upside or we continue lower. But we are at that pivotal point now on SMCI for the overall daily level structure change or continuation, which is in the downtrend. ARM. So ARM right now rejecting at 20 days moving average. That's fine. This was one of our target right above the blue box all the way to 20 days moving average. We got our target. Now there are two possibilities. Definitely if we break out and above of 20 days moving average from here on, yes, that's just a continuation to the upside. Or if we start to sell off underneath of 20 days moving average, $121 you are still watching. Until then that's fine. Structure will not become bearish overall. That will just constitute a pullback. Below that definitely we have a problem. But what is that possibility of pool off happening? So let's take a look at the hourly interval for the price action on that. And so I'm just trying to get some more price action in the picture from the past, just seeing some pivots down there. So I would say at this point, if ARM can continue to stay above 50 hours moving average and this blue box, 129.80 cents area, if ARM can continue to stay above it, that's fine. It's uh, still safe and continue higher through the pullback. If any time we lose this level of 128 and 73 cents, then likely we again may be testing 121. So that cool off may come. But so, and yeah, if we get whenever we can get above 20 days moving average and above 20 hours moving average, just an upside continuation then, right? So that's that. Broadcom. Broadcom is strong, very strong compared to every <clears throat> all other semiconductors so far that we have talked about. And AMD is also strong, but Broadcom has everything what you want to look for as in the bullish. It's above 200 days moving average, it's above 20 and 50 days moving average. And it also has the uh, good reversal point here when I talked about these pivots are forming and the blue box above this we are just plain bullish. It has a strong upside continuation over here, right? So um, we are above 20 and 50 days moving average. Um, and yeah, the, the even any pullback on this until 50 days moving average, just be a pullback even until 20 days moving average. Broadcom through the pullbacks can continue to stay bullish, but take partial profits here. This was the time, as I was saying, is the time to take profit. Oh, well, take positions above this. We are bullish in the structure. And again, slowly and slowly, uh, you would build through intraday into the swing you can carry some partial positions right and things along those lines i won't suggest starting a new big swing position here but we are bullish make your own decision but this was the time these are the times to make decisions with the stop loss on the other side at the pivotal structural areas right all right micron Micron, um, we once, I mean, there's no surprise once we closed above this 200 days moving average, this was the next run up and we are getting that. This is pretty much what I said. First from this level of um, almost, wait, uh, not $90, but it was getting out of above this candle. And I'm <coughs> sorry, excuse me, guys. Uh, the reason that level right now is changed because weightage is being given to the other levels just because I have a timeline different here on my indicator but that's fine it's self-explanatory uh, we talked about once we start to get out of this consolidation uh, we will get to 200 days moving average and the next leg up after that if we don't see a rejection here underneath of 220 days moving average we'll see just see an upside above that and it's just a new play above the above that another upside so we are getting that now yeah I mean micron is technically is in the bullish structure uh, as long as we stay above this zone of $101 that is 200 days moving average area and uh, yeah right now let's say if I'm just providing a possibility here let's say if sell-off comes a lot of sell-off $95 just becomes a area of possible pivot only but that's quite a huge sell-off you don't want to hold through that sell-off taking a look at hourly interval and yeah it's looking strong even right now, if tomorrow it tries to sell off, 
I think there are high likelihood it might just get bought back up in this zone of $105. Yeah, it's closed strong as well. Yeah, and from here, though, it's just an upset continuation. But anyways, take partial profits in the extensions. When you get times like, you know, pullbacks, uh, those are the times to reload um, a little bit and whatever, whatever you want to do, right? But structure is not breaking. Even intraday structure on this weakness, would I would only constitute weakness if it loses 105 and 73 cents, all right? Okay, that's it for this video. Guys, if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.